Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome to a brand new series here on the channel guys. Welcome to my playthrough through vanilla Minecraft. Welcome to a brand new series of Minecraft survival guys. We are going to be playing in a brand new 1.16 version of Minecraft and we start out on this island. Now, I've done a couple of these series in the past but this time I've actually gone and I picked a seed that I like. I really like this seed that we've got here. It's really, really good. And I've got the coordinates over where I want to start out with our first base. It's at negative 996, which is in... Uh, not in that direction, is it? It's in this direction. Nope, it's in this direction. Negative 996, positive 48. So it's pretty much a little bit in that direction. Now, this island that we're on at the beginning doesn't actually have any trees. So it looks like we cannot make our way across here by swimming. Since food's going to be a bit of a troublesome thing in the beginning, I found all this kelpie. I thought we could just mash some of this kelp, grab it up, and then we've got a bit of food at least just to get us sort of started. We're about to take some damage. Let's get to the surface. Let's get to the surface. We don't have a stack of kelp in our inventory. I think we're going to be good. So it's time to get on and get to where we're going. The coastline is coming into view. Awesome. So how do we begin a Minecraft series? Well, that's easy. There's one simple thing that you need to do right at the very beginning. Every Minecraft series starts doing it. Punch some wood, because that's normal. Back in the day, back in the medieval times, when our ancestors sailed the oceans, as soon as they got to the other side, the first thing they did was punch some wood. Yeah, they punched it, and punched it, and punched it some more. Now that I've got some wood, we can actually start making some things right here in the early versions of Minecraft. We can go ahead and make ourselves a crafting table, pop that down there, and make ourselves... This is really kind of small. There we go, a bit bigger now. I like that. So the first thing I'm going to do, and the only thing I'm going to do right off the bat, is make myself a pickaxe. Because I, I, I don't like the idea of wooden, running around in wooden tools. There's just no point. Stone is such, such an easy thing to get right near the beginning of the game. Why not just go like straight for stone? I forgot that I keep forgetting that trees drop sticks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dig down here in the acacia biome. And see if I can get myself some stone. We shouldn't go too far down before we hit a little bit of stone. And we've done that right here. And all I want is about 8 pieces of stone. Actually, I'm going to go with a little bit more. I think I'm going to go with about 16 pieces of stone. That way I'll have enough for all of those basic starting tools as well as a furnace. Because we've got the we've got the kelp and that's going to be our food source. The sheep up there, which is something I really want to get slaughtered. So we get ourselves a bed so we can sleep through the night. I don't want to spend time through the night. No, 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 no. So yeah. Now we've got stone. We can go ahead and make ourselves the next set of tools. I think we're going to need some more sticks for this, to be honest with you. Uh, ten should be more than enough. We can make ourselves a pickaxe, an axe, a shovel, a hoe, and ourselves a sword, which is mainly what we want. We can go ahead and grab ourselves some cobblestone as well, so we can make ourselves a furnace. Pop the furnace down. Uh, we'll put in seven of those, and let's just make these into planks. Just to get ourselves some charcoal, that way I can smelt up this cow and get ourselves a food source. But before we do that, where's my sword? 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 There are sheep around here. There are lots of sheep. That's the brown sheep. We don't want to kill the brown sheep because we need three of the same color wool. And I know that there are three white sheep around here. I've seen them. Okay, there's one. There's the second one. There we go. I thought that first one dropped two wool, but it didn't. It dropped just one. It looks like we've got a couple more sheep over here. And some donkeys. And some cows. Oh, this is a really good place to sort of start out. It's a shame we won't be staying here too long. We'll be moving over to where I actually want to start up. I've picked a place that I really, really kind of like. It's in the middle of a desert, I think. Uh, and I really wanted to build in a desert to begin with. I did this a while back, and I really had a lot of fun doing it. But, yeah, want to build in a desert. Okay, uh, four charcoal. That's not going to be really enough. I'm going to let this do. With sun going down, we should probably make up a bed real quick. Just so we can sleep through the night. There we go. Nice little white bed. It'll do. It'll do. We'll sleep out in the savannah. The sun is going down, but it's not night time yet. At least we've set our spawn point. I've got the kelp cooking up, and we are really low on food at the minute, really low on hams at the minute. Oh, about halfway down. So this will just help at least until we get some sort of sustainable food source. It's not brilliant, it only does half a ham, but it's better than nothing, and it'll get us through just the early game grind. Kelp is a great food source if you can get it in the early game. There's also some sugar cane over here that I want to grab. While that sun goes down, we can quickly grab the sugar cane. Because like I said, we're not going to stay here too long. This is an island that we are on. And this is kind of where I want to start off. I've got an idea of having a starting island or a starting base be the island. It's a rather large island. We've got a couple of biomes on here. So it is quite big. But at the same time, I think it's going to be perfect for what we want just to begin with. Let's see if we can sleep. We can sleep now. Good. So I'm going to cook up this rest of this kelp and then get on my way. 
But I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more. Well, this is the area where I kind of want to build. We've got this desert here, which is where I want to set up in. We've also got a bit of a plains biome here that blends me with an acacia biome. Well, savannah, should I say, which is really, really kind of good. And we're going to keep this 1.16 pretty much only on this island. Um, I'm going to show you guys a screenshot of the island now. And that island is going to be what we stick to for most of this bit. Up until 1.17 comes out. So 1.17 adds in brand new caves and all sorts. So I'm looking forward to that. But obviously we're not there yet. And I don't want to go loading a ton of chunks. So I'm going to prune this world back so it's only these chunks, these island chunks that we're on. Now, it's still quite a lot to advance. We'll probably venture out to get some more resources. But we're not going to be building anything out there or anything like that. That's going to all be uh, pruned and deleted once 1.17 comes out. But for right now, I kind of want to get started over here. This is where I want to set up. I like the idea of building in a desert. And I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at where I kind of want to put the starting out. And I kind of like over here. I think this is a really nice place to put it. Although, this would make a good place for a dock as well now I'm thinking about it. So maybe we don't go just there yet. It's going to be some sort of city or something. Oh, there's a big hole there. Oh, there's iron. I did actually find some iron on my way over here. Which I went ahead and got. And the reason I picked this area is twofold. One, I really kind of like the blend of three, the three different biomes. We can do a lot with that. But, more importantly, just over there, there's a skeleton spawner. So we can make ourselves a XP farm quite quickly and quite early on. It's one of the things I always look for when I start a game. When I start a brand new Minecraft world. Is a way to sort of make it easy to grind out the levels. Because it, it does get a bit, a bit tedious grinding out the levels. This looks like a good place to, to set up. I've got an idea for the starter house that I want in. Oh yeah, and this can lead down to the river. I kind of really like this area. So, let's just pop this down. Let's get ourselves the furnace down. Because I do want to smelt up these iron ore. Uh, we can put in those sticks. I think that will be enough. We'll just put them all in just in case it's not. I did go ahead and grab myself some acacia wood. But unfortunately, I don't think this is going to be enough for what we want. Uh, let's just grab ourselves a couple of chests to just at least get this started out with. Because I do want to go mining a little bit. I do want to try and get myself some, some diamonds quite quickly here. So we're going to just drop these in here. So we've got pretty much everything we want. We're going to take the sugar cane and we're going to plant it down by the river. With that planted, that'll all grow up and that'll save us a job a little bit later on. Because we are going to need some paper for the enchanting area. Now... The next thing that I want to do is, I don't know if AFK fish farms work in this version of Minecraft, so I'm going to have to look into that. We may have to build something a little bit ordained for that, but I certainly don't mind. But, I do want to get myself sort of dug down to sort of bedrock level, so I can see if I can get myself some diamonds. But definitely want to get myself some, some shand, 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 yeah, shand, shand. What? They could apparently be very difficult. I want to get myself some stand sandstone. Because I do definitely want to build out of sandstone. So, I want to... I know this is a little bit... Oh, I should, should totally go with um, with an iron pickaxe, shouldn't I? Not a bucket. Yeah. So let's go with an iron pickaxe. If I'm digging down, I'm definitely going to want an iron pickaxe. In case it comes redstone or something. As I'm digging down. So, we'll grab that. But the reason I want the shears is because... If you use shears on these, you actually get these back instead of sticks. Look. And these dead bushes are going to become really useful as we go along. Especially, especially in a desert. I think it's going to look really, really cool. I've got sort of like a build palette in mind. I just need to get some of the blocks. So, I'm going to do a little bit of resource gathering. Then I'll be back with you. The first diamonds of the series. This is what I've been looking for. How many have we got? I haven't checked underneath it. We got... Is this going to be an A vein? Is this going to be an A vein? Oh, check that out. An A vein right off the bat. Oh my god. That's so awesome. Let's go. A diamonds in one go. Let's check it out. Now I've got my diamonds. I can make myself a diamond axe. Diamond pickaxe, rather. I just want to grab this coal first. So then we can actually get to some building in this series. Well, I'm back from the mines. I've got myself a bunch of sandstone ready to start this new build here. But I wanted to make up a diamond pickaxe on camera. I just realized I don't actually have any wood to do this. We'll grab, a, grab a, an Ocasia log. We'll make that into sticks. I mean, all the sticks. And we'll make ourselves a diamond pickaxe. This is just going to make building so much easier. And I think I also want to add in a diamond axe to this setup. And then we'll leave ourselves two diamonds for our enchanting table. 
This will help out in the beginning a little bit to make things a little bit easier. Now we've got this sandstone and what I want to do with the sandstone is I want to put it in the furnace because we get this smooth sandstone, which is kind of what I want to use. But it's not the only thing that I want to use. I also want to use, oops, that's not the recipe. That's the recipe. I also want to use some of this, give me that. Jeez, I just want to spread it across four. I want to use some of this cat, cat sandstone. Yes, uh, cut sandstone. So what I'm thinking is we go one, one, two, three, four, five. Put one there and we go one, two, three, four, five. Put one, one, two, three, four, five. Put one there. This might end up being a little bit too big. Doesn't look that big. Doesn't look that big. And then we'll go one there and one there. Hmm. Thinking about this now, this might be a little bit on the small side. Maybe we go seven. Maybe we go seven here. Yeah, I'm thinking we do seven. Let me get this outline put in place. So this is somewhat the shape that I'm thinking of going for. This is going to be a little bit more different than this. With this sandstone on the inside like so. So it's going to kind of blend in a little bit. But I've got a couple of cool ideas for how I want this to look. But i got to get some more work done on this first. I've got to bring these up. Which also means smelting down some more of this smooth sandstone. Which just seems to be taking forever for some reason. This is a lot slower than I remember it being. And I'm going to need quite a bit of this. I used to have this as part of a data pack, but that was before it was part. That was before you could actually get it in vanilla Minecraft. At one point, this block was just in there, but unobtainable. So I used to have a crafting recipe for it. But now that there's an actual smelting recipe, I don't have the crafting recipe anymore. So I'm going to get this brought up and get some more little features added in. So in an effort to help cut costs, I've decided we're going to work a little bit on what these sections are going to look like. And I've got a couple of ideas in mind. First thing we're going to do is, I've already started over there, look, as you can see, is we're going to take out these sections here. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert some oak stairs just to add some new color into this. I like the color palette because it still works somewhat with the sandstone. It works pretty good with the sandstone, actually. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take ourselves some sandstone stairs. We're going to pop them upside down there. We're going to grab ourselves a block, temporary block, sandstone slab there. Get rid of our temporary block. Put these sandstone stairs upside down right there to create this sort of an effect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to keep with the vanilla theme here. Uh, let's throw in some more sandstone in there in the meantime. We're going to grab ourselves some acacia wood. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to make myself some logs for now and uh, do i have any more smooth sandstone that i could just use to sort of pill it up here that's good what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop a one of these what you would call it bark blocks that's it i couldn't remember them in the corners so we're gonna just bring over this like so we're gonna go grab this uh we don't really need one there for now this one will work perfectly fine and we're gonna grab this bring this over like so and I put myself in a hole, as always. Then we're going to grab this, bring this around, put another sandstone, smooth sandstone there. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go around and strip these logs. Uh, give me my torch back. I want my torch back. My torch. Not yours. Mine. I think that's going to look pretty cool. Now, I do have a couple of other things that I want to do. We're going to grab some oak buttons. And what we're going to do is we're going to place in some oak buttons I think along the top like that, just to ease out that transition a little bit there. But I do rather like that. Maybe we could run, we could run sandstone slabs across the bottom there. Well, how would that look? So it would look like that. Hmm. I don't like that. I like the other idea better. So let's get rid of these sandstone slabs and just keep them there with the what should we call it? The oak slabs, the oak buttons. And I'm trying to use oak buttons a little bit more, or buttons in general a little bit more. So I'm going to pop those there. And I think this would also look nice if we were to do this across the bottom too. So let's grab some more oak buttons and just stick some there. Yes, I like that. That's looking really, really nice. We could even go a step further and add in some acacia on these pillars. I'm thinking maybe we add them there on the pillars just to add... Just to bring that acacia out a little bit more. And I like that. So, 
I'm going to get the bottom layer rest of this bottom layer put in place and I'll be back with you. Well, we've got the walls in place now. They're looking really, really good. I started to work on the doorways, but we'll get to that in a moment. This, I really like this on this side as well. It all just sort of comes together. looks really nice, really lovely, and fits the desert, desert theme that I'm going for. Now, what I want to work on is the doorway. You can see I've already got some of it worked out over here. All we're going to do is we're going to put a stair and a stair there. Then we're going to go here with a stair and a stair, and then up here with a, another stair and another stair. Now, what we need to do is we need to take these out, and I need to bring the logs across a little bit more. So that we've got this log coming out here like so. And I think that's going to look really, really good. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take these case logs. We're going to turn them into planks. And then we're going to plank up the backside here like so. Now I decided to put a door on both sides because I'm not sure which side I want the front door on. But it'll work either way. So there we go. Ooh, so it's a good idea. Let's take out the place for the door. There we go. And I think what we'll do is we'll go with birch doors. But I need to go get some birch wood which is, it's just over there, it's not a big deal. But yeah, that looks really, really good. What I want to do now is grab a slab and slab up there. And uh, maybe, maybe we, we, we don't do this one here. Maybe we do this one. Wait, but where are they? We'll grab them, we'll grab them. We can pick block. Maybe we do these ones here, like so. Kind of like that. Ooh. What about if we were to take this out, this out? Come on, fall down. And put that there. Because there is going to be something on top. So yeah, I do kind of like that. I like that better than what we had before. So what is it? It was this out. It was this there. And then it was this up like so. Yeah, I kind of like that. That's really nice. Now the only thing I need to do is I need to grab some more case of wood. So I can grab some more of these buttons. And button up. Now, where was we doing the case of buttons again? There. One from the top. One from the bottom. So it's there. There, and here, and here. So I'm going to get all this done. Then I'm going to start working on the upstairs. Because we are going to have a bit of an upstairs to this one. So I'm going to get on to that. Well, from a distance, it does look rather nice. You can see that I've put on most of the final touches. It looks sort of castle-ish. Which I kind of like. It looks really good. I really like it. So, we've got most of the upstairs in place. I do have the birch doors on me. So we can put these in place. And I wanted to do the floor together with you guys. To show you kind of like something that I've started to do. It's something that I really, really like. So what we do is we're going to put the door on there. We're going to put the door on there. One on each side. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick about three different resources to use on the ground here. We're going to use cobblestone uh, a little bit. And uh, what I need to do is I need to craft up a couple more furnaces. Now, this is just something that I like to do when it comes to furnaces and crafting tables. I just like to put them in the floor near my chests. So we're going to put those there. We'll put that there. That there. And what I want to do is I want to create sort of like a mashup of different um, resources in the ground. Like originally this would have been like a stone ground. But over time it would have withered down and we would have got some dirt in over here. So we're going to put quite a bit of dirt in. Um, quite a bit of dirt. But, yep, that's it. Like so. And what we can do is this can this can match. Now, I do want to get a texture pack that allows the dirt and the cobblestone to sort of blend a lot better together. Make these look a lot better than what they currently do. Um, let's go fill this in. Uh, we'll fill these ones in as well. And uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that one. And then what we're going to do is right here where it's walked a lot, we're just going to add in some sand. As if it's been trodden in from the outside. This just gives a more, just to me, it gives a more natural feel of what it would be like as opposed to what it is. We've got the stone, the cobblestone up there leading up to the upstairs. Not sure what I'm going to do with the inside of this house yet. I'm really kind of happy with it just being like this for now. So we've got our chests here. I do need to sort of make up some more chests because there are, obviously there isn't enough chests here to do everything that I want. But I am struggling for resources at the moment. So I'm going to just put tools in there. Grab this. Probably have enough wood to make up one more chest. We could turn that into those. We could turn this strip bark as well. There we go. We've got another chest. And this will do. I know we've got some logs, but we don't have too many logs. And in here, we'll just put the greenery stuff so we can start growing some more of these. And we want to get into food. Now, I want to talk a little bit about what the next episode is going to be. The next episode is going to focus predominantly on a talky episode we're just gonna have a chit chat 
and I'm do going to be doing that for a couple of reasons. One, I took quite a reasonable break from YouTube with very little explanation as to why. And I'm going to be talking about it in that episode. We're going to go and do some mining in a cave or something. Um, so that's the kind of main thing that we're going to be doing. Uh, the second thing is, is I'm trying to get ahead by a week's worth of videos. And that's just a little bit easier for me to record as opposed to sitting down and doing another one of these episodes. Uh, we'll just pop these in here for now. Um, I don't think I have one. Yes, I do. I did have one for these. It's right there. Look. Yes. So, I'm going to prepare for that caving adventure between this episode and the next episode. Uh, the main thing I want to do is just grab myself some um, iron and some coal and stuff. Uh, did I? Have I gone through like literally all of my kelp? Okay, I've literally thrown kelp away now because evidently I'm a little bit upset that we don't have any more kelp. So, let's, let's start smelting that up. But yeah, next episode I'm going to talk about exactly where I've been for the past like two months and what's been going on with me. Uh, but yeah. I think that's going to call it for this episode. I'm really, really kind of happy with how this has turned out. Uh, F5 is the key that I want. Yeah, this looks really, really good. So guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel. I really do appreciate it. So please do leave that like and click subscribe if you want to see more from me. Guys, with KCO, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.